problem is to find maximum and minimum element in a given array A. Here, first element is assumed to be the maximum element. Compare with the remaining all the elements of the array. Now here you are finding the element greater than 22. Now max will become this 60. Like that in order to find the minimum element, assume the first element is the minimum element and compare with the next element. Now 13 is minimum. Now minimum become 13. Then 13 with minus 5. Now minimum is minus 5. Minus 5 is compared with minus 8. Now minus 8 is smaller. So minimum is set to this. Like that, in order to find the minimum element, 8 comparisons is being made for the array containing 9 elements. And even to find the maximum, 8 comparisons is being made. So totally 16 comparisons. That, that is 2 into 8. In general, if an array contains n elements, to find minimum n minus 1 comparisons, to find maximum n minus 1 comparisons, totally 2 into n minus 1 comparisons is made in order to find the maximum and minimum element. So, this belongs to theta of n. We will see the algorithm. This algorithm is called brute force or straightforward approach to find the maximum and minimum. So, initially set max and minimum to the first element A1. So, in order to find the maximum and minimum element, compare with the remaining elements of the array. For that, vary the loop from 2 to n. <coughs> now, i is varied from 2 to n. A i element is compared with maximum. If a i is greater than maximum, a i equal to, sorry, max equal to a i. If a i is less than min, then min equal to a i. So, uh, you have seen how to find the solution by applying brute force. The second method is called divide and conquer. In divide and conquer, we have two steps. The first one is divide the problem into smaller instance in the second step is conquering step there you are finding the solution for the smaller sub problem and combine the solution of the smaller sub problem to get the solution for the original problem now here the problem size is 9 divide into equal holes that is first half of the array is containing five elements and second half of the array four elements so one five and six nine now further you divide into smaller subarray this five now the larger one is containing five elements so when you divide into smaller instances first subarray contains three elements and the second with two elements Again, this can be further divided into smaller subproblems. First contains two elements and the second one element. Now, uh, for finding the maximum and minimum element, smaller subproblem can be of size 2 or 1 because when there are two elements in the array, it is sufficient, one condition is sufficient to check which is the maximum and which is the minimum element. Now, a i that is here, a 1 is compared with a 2. Now, a 1 is larger than a 2. So, now max is set to 22 and min to 30. When there is only one element in the array, that itself is the max and min element. These two are the base conditions for the recursive tree call. That is, the problem is divided, divided into smaller instances when the number of elements in the array is greater than 2. When it is equal to 2, no need, it will not further divide, in, divide into smaller subproblem. When n equal to 1, it will not divide. That itself is the smaller problem. Now, 
we have found the solution for this smaller instance combine the solution of these two smaller instances to get the solution for the next larger instance that is the array containing three elements here 22 is compared with minus 5 now 22 is max and 13 and minus 5 minus 5 is minimum so set minimum to minus 5 look at here first half of the array in first half of the array max and min element is assigned to variables max and min and in second subarray maximum and minimum element is assigned to variables max1 and min1 now again these two sub problems is combined here with that you will be getting this as the subarray and here again these two sub problems is combined with that max and min max is for this sub problem 60 and 17 is the minimum and for this 47 and 31 are the max and minimum element now compare this 60 with 47 max is 60 and here 17 is the minimum element combine these two sub arrays with that the solution for the larger problem containing nine elements maximum element is 60 and minimum element is minus 8 this way of writing the solution is called recursive tree calls so algorithm can be traced by using recursive recursive tree calls we'll see the algorithm now when you call the max min function through main initially i value will be 1 and j will be equal to n so in two cases you will get small sub problem in the first case i equal to j that means only one element in the sub array in this case max and min equal to ai so this is when i equal to j when i equal to j minus 1 then array contains two elements so in that case check the ith element with the jth element if ai is less than aj that means minimum equal to ai and max equal to aj in case if ai is greater than aj max equal to ai and min equal to aj if you if the condition is not other than these two condition that is when i is not equal to j and i is not equal to j minus 1 then array contains more than two elements that time you have to divide the problem into smaller instance for that you are required to find the mid value mid equal to i plus j by 2 invoke this max min function for first half of the array that is i mid max min and again invoke max min for second half of the array by sending these values mid plus 1 j max 1 min 1 now when it is uh, when you call like this it will find the solution for first sub array and here you will be getting solution for the second sub array now first sub array contains max value that is compared with maximum value of the second sub array that is maximum one in case max is less than max one then max equal to max one if min is greater than min one that means min 1 itself is smaller than minimum equal to min 1. This is divide and convert technique. Now we will see the recurrence relation for divide and conquer. Now in this you are required to count the number of comparisons made in order to find the maximum and minimum element. So array contains n elements here. So in order to find the number of comparison for the array containing n element 
you need to know how many comparisons is being made in the smaller sub problem of size n by 2 like that you have two smaller sub problems and in order to find which is minimum and which is maximum you are required to do two comparison that is to combine the solutions of smaller sub problem you are required to do <coughs> two comparisons this is when n is greater than when n equal to 2, so only one comparison is sufficient. So with that you can find which is minimum and which is maximum value. And when n equal to 1, no need to check the condition. Straight away you can assign max and min equal to ith element. So with that the recurrence relation here is tn equal to 2 tn by 2 plus 2 when n is greater than, greater than 2 and when n equal to 2 number of comparisons is equal to 1 when n equal to 1 number of comparisons is equal to 0. Now solve this recurrence relation by backward substitution method with that you will be getting the answer equal to 3n by 2 minus 2. This is the number of comparisons being made in this algorithm. Earlier case that is brute force or straightforward approach in that you got 2n minus 1 comparisons here 3n by 2 minus 2 comparison here the number of comparisons is being minimized. Now the solution can be that is the complexity of the algorithm can be found by applying master theorem also. Here by solving recurrence rela relation by backward substitution you found the solution. In the second method you can apply master theorem and can find the solution. Now this is the general recurrence relation uh, for divide and conquer. So when you apply the master theorem if these conditions hold then the corresponding complexity is being shown here tn equal to 2 tn by b here a value is 2 and b value is 2 and fn equal to 2 fn equal to n power d implies d equal to 0 now third condition of the master theorem holds here that means uh, 2 is greater than 2 power 0 that is 1 since third condition holds here tn belongs to theta of n to the power log a to base b n to the power of log 2 to base 2 this belong to theta of n thank you